This is Bits and Bobs with Kits and Bits and your host Lynette Delane. Actually, it's it's what I was going to say about this, um, you know, the branding not being your whole mm. part, whole, everything about your business. Yeah. It's not a tattoo. You can change it any time. It's don't feel like that you have to have this thing that is, um, you know, between you and your customer that is your brand. Mm-hmm. It's only just part of it and you, it's very fluid and it um, it can change and shift with your yeah. business as your business changes and grows. Your brand can change and grow too. Absolutely. So, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And yeah. That's, yeah. And, you know, um, so when I first got my logo, you know, it was based on some very basic requirements, but I got that, but there was... Um, there was a shadow under the three boxes and then there was a, um, you know, there was a tagline included and all of that. And as I grew and knew more about my business and started using it in lots of different places, I'm like, well, that doesn't work. So I wiped that out. Um, and then I start, you know, I started, we we're talking colour palettes before. And so, you know, I started with just using my teal and then very occasionally using my blue and green. But now I use them fairly evenly because it gives me variety. And, and you were saying, you know, the same thing with your colours palette. Yeah, yeah. I started off, I have I have had the same palette for, um, as, you know, six colours or so uh, for the past uh, couple of years. Mm. But when I started using it, it was more about the, the green and, yeah. um, uh, the, and the grey. And now I use the orange and the yellow. And mm. it's the same palette. I just use it emphasize different colors yeah and yes it's kind of changes the feel of, of um um of what i'm doing not not overly though like it's just no. it's just like it's, it's 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 about it's about growing and, sh- mm. and, sh- and just kind of that subtle um tweaking and shifting yeah. as your as your business grows that's that's all it's about so the final thing is your brand is not a tattoo, which is my very favourite. Cunt, Garrett, yeah, I can't even say a name. I'm so in awe. Um, Karen Gunton. Yeah. She's just fabulous. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She said your brand is not a, it's not a tattoo. It's mm-hmm. just feel like it, if you, you know, your brand will change and shift as your business grows and shifts. Yeah. But also there will probably come a point in time where your um well, there may come a point in time where you feel like that brand just is stifling you mm-hmm. and it's time to completely change it. Yeah. But until that point in time, it's really important to stay consistent with the you got flies in your food. Yeah, it's really important. Once you have your branding, your you know, your colours and your fonts and your imagery style and, and what you know, the, your keywords and what you want to project. Why well, as you have all of that, be consistent with it now because the point about branding is what it does is create consistency in people's minds. It's about you projecting a consistent image so that um, they go through that no like and your, your audience goes through that no like trust factor. Yep. They will not spend money with you. They People need to trust you before they spend money with you. So they have to know and like you first. Completely. And the way to do that is to build up that consistency. Yep. And part of that consistency is, is built through your branding. So that is why you need to be consistent with your branding. Yep. So stick to the same colours and fonts and your image style yep. for, um, for a long time. And, and as we've just talked about, it can change and shift a little bit. It can tweak a little bit. And that's absolutely fine. Yeah. It's still, um, people know yeah. it's still me. Yeah. People still know that Lynette's Lynette. Yeah. And that's, yeah. It's because not chopping and changing and using a whole different colour scheme or a whole different load of fonts or a completely different icon. Mm. Um, mm. And then using a different one again or going back to your original. Like, keep that consistent yeah, yeah. in the bounds of... Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. You know, every time you change, um, it's everything you do as a business uh, feeds into what people's perception of you yeah. is as a brand. So if you're chopping and changing all the time, that means that you're sending out a message of inconsistency. You're yeah. sending out a message of being messy. Yeah, and people not knowing not, what you want. Not, mm. Yeah, and not knowing what you want. People are not going to want to work with you. I want someone who knows what they talk, what they're talking about. I want yeah. someone who I can rely on. Every 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 time I put something out that's branded, um, it, it builds into that 
thing about reliability as yeah. well. Consistency means reliability. I'm so sorry. if I'm projecting something consistently, people go, oh, yeah, she's really setting up for this one thing. You know, they, yeah. they know me for this one thing. And, yeah, it's all good. Yeah. Thanks for joining me for Bits and Bobs, an interview series for new business owners looking to avoid the pitfalls that we who have gone before have either already fallen into and climbed out of or managed to skip over altogether. Please subscribe and watch other episodes where I, along with other business owners, dive into some less talked about and sometimes tough subjects, highlighting some of those I wish I had known topics so that you can get your business going faster and easier. You can find my guest details in the show notes or on my website, kitsandbits.com.au.